flaws. Fiddle's pretty good. I put, I put Fiddle like here. But Fiddle's like a one trick. I, I stopped putting him in my tier list because he's just straight up like he's too good. He's just a one trick jungler and his win rate is just super like inflated by the people who know how to play him. So like if you know how to play Fiddle and you have like hundreds of games on him, he's like super good. But I felt like it's just like it's like the same story about Fiddle. He's a one trick jungler. You, you put a hundred games into him, he's gonna be really good. Kane is pretty unplayable. They're gonna they're gonna buff Shadow Kane to next patch. Let's we'll see how much it does because I think I, I think it might be it has to be like a really big buff to make him good. Because I think the problem right now is AD carries are gonna be way too tanky with the overheal buffs too. Trying to be like an assassin, trying to kill an AD carry who has two, like a thousand HP BT overheal shield is gonna be impossible. And Red Kane is kind of trash, especially with the Grievous nerf. So. I don't know about that. I honestly don't know how Kane is gonna be. I think trying to play like these carry junglers are really hard right now. Your best option is to play like these tanky utility ganking junglers. Vi, Wukong, Amumu, Udyr, Zac. These are like the meta junglers because they're so like strong with like the team call and they're good early ganking. Uh, I feel like that's unfortunately that they're going to be the meta. You can still play other stuff, but it's not gonna be as strong. I think Lori Low, it's gonna be super hard to play carry. You can go either tank. Demonic is trash on Nunu. You don't go Demonic on him. He's just really good with like Sunfire and stuff like that. But you can actually go AP on him too, and AP is not that bad. Maybe we can play some Nunu. Nunu is actually very good. I think I have Nunu, I can play some. I mean, they're gonna nerf ganking junglers next patch too, so I don't know. Riot Games really doesn't like... Dude, what is my... My thing is off. But yeah, that's not... There we go. Uh, what was I even saying? Yeah, ganking junglers are just completely... They might get completely cocked by Girl Scorer next match. Mm, I feel like this guy started red buff. I wasn't super paying attention, but if he did, we can invade him here. Oh, he went for the level 3 bot gang. Unfortunately, I was not able to beat him. This is what we were talking about earlier how, like, him going for that clear just when his R options but he failed it so you can actually take his camps here but you see how slow it is to take enemy jungle camps so like if i try to take two camps my resources are like completely gone and like my game is just not in a good position this is the problem with the jungle meta you get reduced damage when you try to kill enemy jungle camps so it's just hard We could dive him. It's not that hard, but I think Udyr is coming here to farm. So I was just a bit curious. I wanted to try to get on him when he's farming. I think if I wait a bit longer, he's gonna get a bit lower. Usually you let them start the camp. And if they start the camp, they start to get a bit lower HP. Udyr is actually really vulnerable early game. You can you can punish him early. He's really squishy. His clear is actually really unhealthy. As like you would think, he's like much healthier. So I don't have flash. My tempo is like not that good. And the top's actually not good for me. This guy's pinging me, but he's a clueless monster, right? So we, don't, we just mute him. We don't really bother with this guy anymore. This guy doesn't know League of Legends. His pings are just deciding it, it would in the end just waste my time and hurt me so i obviously don't want to be listening to people who ping you the worst thing you can do as a jungler is just automatically listen to people who ping xp nerf is really bad looks is not that hard you're at my cries are up again so i can just do my top side and go slowly find my way bot side it, it's a boss side meta too so like me playing top side too long is not bad even this whole situation, I've only done it. Uh, I was trying to kill Udyr from the get-go. 
have a tier list if you guys want to check it out. I'll, I'll link it afterwards. Between games, I go over like my tier list and I look at other stuff. So just I definitely can check it out after. So kill Udyr, his top side camps are pretty much gone. What happens? He goes straight to boss side camps, right? So we already kind of know that information. So you hear bots missing, so we have to be a little cautious as we go in. We just want to pop our sweeper early. We kind of know what we're walking into. So here, because it doesn't show, we know that crap is gone. Looks like he completed all the camp cycles. He could be bought now. All right, I didn't get that one. I mean, good value though. We're, we're pretty much ahead off that. I mean, it's just a good play. We went in the jungle. We check all vision and we're good to go. Yeah, I should make a ball count for tier list. Could do dragon. I only like doing this if my support helps me. I, I would never do this if I wasn't gonna get help. Like if I was to do this by myself like this, no. If my team comes and squads up like this, yes, I'll do dragon. It's a good dragon then. Air Dragon is really good to get early, but never do it on your own because it's way too much time. Your tempo is like completely gone. Relentless is not that great. Treasure Hunter just gives you more. Also, I've been going back to like my free boots by, so like as you can see, like my moon page, I have my free boots again. I'm gonna probably reset and have my buy. My top side is up again, so I'm gonna try to be there fast. I'm trying to make it in time. And my Warhammer buy. Here, usually I just sit on free boots because I'm gonna get free boots and I'll have like, I don't have to worry about it at all. Also, this page gives you like a shorter cooldown on Cosmic Insight, which gives you the advantage at a level three smite fight. Where if he. He will not have smite up while well, I will have smite up. Here I'm gonna do red because I'm trying to get a level 6. I just want to be at my power spike where I can invade him and then play aggressive. And doing crab or doing red will give me that level 6 really fast and then I can you know, play really aggressive. The best way to win as Rex is to actually just play to invade. This guy's a dirty, dirty player. His Gromp is up. Walls are down. He's actually here. See, this is what you have to do. You have to really track the other jungler. You have to play like a... <clears throat> you have to play inside his head. You have to play really inside him. But really, you have to play aggressive like that. You get your power spike on level 6. This level advantage is by far the best. Then I invade him, I control the area. I don't let him get to gank lanes because I'm always just pressuring him. And maybe my lanes are all gonna lose, right? That's a, that's a possibility. I could do all of this and my lanes can just end up losing anyways. And that, that's a complete possibility, right? But you just have to hope for the best. Fuck this. I was not letting this egg live, man. That wall was actually kind of clean. Too bad. It rotated for no reason. And now that's that's the play right there. Now that's the knife right there. And here I'm just able to win off this. Like this is how you really snowball. Think about League. Jungle and just power farming gives you so little experience, but you know what gives you insane amounts of experience is actually kills kills actually give you way more experience than just farming so you're better off just trying to snowball the game as much as possible and just get kills 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 and lane experience that's literally the best way to get ex that's how you stay ahead as a jungler if you're not getting kills in lane farm you're going to fall behind and just power farm is never going to recover you well i mean i i think going inspiration second is always like never bad really I can always go my my classic page. 
Here I do one camp, because the Gromp is probably the most valuable camp, and also I try to invade again. Here this guy's trying to go this way so we can cut him off. By here. And yeah, here I'm gonna probably look to break bot tower. Udyr looking like he's catching me. And so I mean if you take out the other jungler, that's quite literally the best way to win the game too. That's why I put a like invade tier list too up. I feel like you need to try to learn to invade as Rex Live you really if you wanna win games as Rex Live jungle, your best bet is to try to invade more often. And just get the game like really controlled to snowball, invade, and pressure. It's like when I'm doing this, these opportunities are always going to be there for you as well. You just have to know when to like capitalize it and also know how to like look for it as well. Oh, dude. So close. <laughs> Yet so far. Auto him down. One more auto. One more. Q. Yeah, but whenever you're going to your crit build, you always have to go with Collector. Collector and then... I mean, this game I might try IE and we'll see how it goes. IE is not bad as well, but I, have, I like the Nivore. I, I do dabble in the Nivore. And you just keep playing for dragons, but you want to play for dragons when they're they're actually good for you. And here, like I always like, I'm, I want to catch this mid wave. It's a free wave. Money, money, money. Might as well break mid tower too while I'm here. With this kind of build path, you can definitely go electrocute though. A hail of blaze is like a is not bad as well. Hail of blaze electrocute can definitely benefit from the collector build. Navori family. Actually, that's a fast base though. I have collector now. IE is good if you just want that one tap. But you, when you go for the IE build pack, you're like banking on like the fact that you're going to have to crit them. Like if you don't crit them, you're not going to get the IE value. Which I don't like. So that's why I like, feel like Navori is better. Dude, the Q crits are just that. I think about collector is so funny. It's like there's just a random chance you can just absolutely, like, completely obliterate someone, which I love. I'm sorry, man. So sorry, Anivia. I'm so sorry. I just really wanted to kill you. I didn't mean it though. Oh, he's going for me. Oh, he wants to dance, man. He's actually crazy, this Udyr. I would literally obliterate him. Mm. Oh, he's a bit expensive, though. I mean, Navori's like the same price, though. Having a one more crit item does feel like the collector just becomes amplified by like 20% more. <laughs> Alicopter. Well, well, well. I definitely will go IE. 
no doubt in my mind. Looks like it's an IE game as well. But I'm probably gonna base first. We're pretty close. I need two items. So. Fighter, fighter, fighter. How much my E does? 445 plus if I stack Conquer, it's gonna do a bit more. Maybe like 4, 470, 480. How oh, is this build path? It's very glass kind of Z. You're gonna have to help. Hope for the best here. So you don't die. As long as you. I mean, if you kill them so fast, they have no time to react, then you're never really gonna die. You know what I mean? Like, if, if I can kill them before they can deal damage to me, then. Do I really need HP? This really makes sense. Might as well just go all damage. I feel like, that's a good uh, philosophy for it. Well, well, well. Alsar, Alsar. You are a basic situation. Bro, he went back in. He looked me in the eye and he went back in. Oh yeah, Hammer, you want it? You got it. I got you, bro. Whoops. Finger slip. Ah. No, I just want to see you. I really just want to see how much damage the IE difference is compared to Nabori is. Nabori probably... When I was testing it in practice, so I felt like the damage was quite equal. But then Nabori just has more ability ace. This is like gold right now. Goldish. Do I remember back in the day you could just rush IE? Well, IE used to be like a random crit generator. Let's see how much my Q's do. A thousand. <laughs> Dude, that's, that actually does seem a little bit illegal for me to be critting for a thousand of Q's. With two items. Maybe that's not that broken. But maybe maybe it's like not that broken. But it's it feels kind of like it could be broken. Oh, no, no, Alistar, please. I want to live. I have more damage to deal. Well, objectives are pretty fast. So my normal card is 500, then my empowered is like 700. No, I played this on my main too, my Grandmaster game, and it felt pretty good. But not the IE, the, the Navori felt better. IE doesn't give you ability, so you, you kind of miss out on the, a bit of a damage on that department. But I'll probably go Edge Knight at this point, with like GA as my build path. But also, how would AP Rex I be good? There's no AP scaling. Oh, wait a minute, my passive? No. So the crit damage on Avor, I mean, it's literally not that different. I'm literally maximizing my damage. There isn't that different. Well, I mean, this build is more like the collector part into the Avor. You just have a bunch of damage. I mean, the damage spike is actually very strong. Oh, shit. Oh, get him. I want my quadro. Yeah. 
No! My targets. My tar targets. AP Rex had a long time ago. He used to have an AP ratio, but not anymore. They removed that some time ago. Some, some time ago, they removed the AP ratio. It's not, it's, it's only AD scaling now. I don't know why they removed it. Because they used to deal magic damage with AP ratio, but then they made it physical with an AD ratio. Well, maybe does it still have the AP ratio? Maybe it did. Oh, they nerfed the AP ratio. I see. I think it used to have a bigger AP ratio, like 1.0, but now it's only 70. But it has an ED ratio now. Yeah, it was a thing in ARAM. You had to like, it was called Submarine Rek'Sai. You just stay this burrow form one shot. But the ratio is pretty bad now. Alright, with Edge and I, I should be able to survive now. I'm gonna just kill this guy one last time for good. Kill this guy, really? Dude, I East. Dude, Navori is better, man. I East doesn't give me that juice, man. It doesn't give me that juice. I, it's too RNG on the crits. Like, you have. I have. What, what's my chance to crit? 40? 40% chance to kill them? It's not good enough. If I crit there, I would kill, but I didn't get the crit. I actually think Navori is like a legit viable build. I East not bad, but like, I think Navori is like legit viable. Like, I build in high low too. It's good for snowballing. It's less about your auto crits and more about like your E true damage gets amplified too. So you have more damage like that. The IE build path is a bit more like IE focused. And it's just like you don't have enough crit to guarantee like you're gonna crit someone. 40% is it's not good enough to crit. It's not reliable. I would have to buy like two crits. But on an 80 carry, I think this build path is really broken. Alright, we good. Let's see, there's a Nibby here. I think we'll kill him. Alright, red Pokemon, do your thing. Yeah, like something like Graves for sure. The is actually quite nice on her. Like no, no cap. Like, it's, yeah, I think it's viable. Not bad. It just amplifies your damage a lot. Guy wants me. Feel it. <laughs> this Wayne ulti gets to run out. Oh no! I didn't see the bird. You definitely try crit. I mean, if I'm gonna go all damage, I either go Bruiser where I go like Cleaver or something, or I go like Collector. 